Most of them uh, will not have a great performance status to begin with because of age-limited comorbidities, renal failure, dementia, it could be just cardiovascular disease. So we do have a lot of challenges. There is a trend of giving fall furanox to them, and I think people are getting more and more comfortable treating patients up to 80 years old with fall furanox as long as they have a decent performance status to begin with. But I feel we just deal with a lot of infectious complications with fall furanox. And obviously there are hematological and non-hematological adverse events that do in get increased with fall furanox as opposed to gemabraxane or gem alone. But uh, that decision has to be very individualized. And if we do feel that the patient can get the benefit of fall furanox and have bearable adverse events, then that's what we go for.